You may be wondering which is the best amp modeling pedal board to pair with the Tonix, the Boss GT1000 Core or the GX100 or the HX Stomp or the Ampero 2 or the new XMG30. But you may be asking yourself what's gonna happen to latency of your entire system and if there is any signal degradation considering all the conversion stages your guitar signal is going through. Well, in this video we are gonna provide you with all the answers. Let's start! I already did a video where I have paired the Tonix with the HX Stomp and I received a lot of requests to verify what's happening to latency and the signal quality more in general pairing the Tonix with the Boss GT1000 Core or the Ampero Stomp 2 etc. Therefore I decided to compare them all. First of all the connections. Well, here the principle is the same of the one shown for the HX Stomp. We have to put the Tonix in the loop of the modeler of our choice and then we can place the wah, compression and overdrive effects before the loop and the time and modulation effects after the loop in order to have a fully stereo rig. This is the easiest solution in my opinion even if you are gonna have a lot of analog to digital and digital to analog conversions at the end our guitar signal goes through many conversion stages all these conversions take time and therefore you may be wondering what's happening to the overall latency now i have measured all the modelers with the same signal chain i mean an overdrive then the loop to which the Tonix is connected, then a stereo chorus, delay and reverb. These are the results. Tonix plus Ampero 2, 9 milliseconds. And please notice that I have set the mix of the FX loop of the Ampero 2 to 100%. Otherwise you're gonna get around about 3 milliseconds of latency. Tonix plus HX Stomp 6 milliseconds. Tonix plus MG30 around about 5.8 milliseconds. Tonix plus Boss GX100 around 4 milliseconds. Tonix plus Boss GT1000 Core around about 3.5 milliseconds. So here you have them all. We have still pretty good values overall considering all the conversion stages that are happening. And the results are in line with the intrinsic latency of each model alone. Of course, you have to take into consideration your overall system. For instance, if you use a wireless transmitter, latency sum up. If you have many digital devices, latency sum up. If you are far from your speakers, latency sum up and you may end up with an overall system which is not comfortable to play. If you want more info about latency, you can check out my video where I have compared 23 amp modeling pedal boards in the card above. Now I will make you listen some tone test where we will compare the sound of the real plexi versus the sound of the Tonix alone versus the sound of the tonics in the loop of each of the aforementioned modelers. In this way we are gonna check out if there is any signal degradation with all these conversions in terms of frequency response, dynamic range, etc. Let's take a listen together.
finite considerations here. Well, these are all great combinations. In terms of signal degradation, I was not able to notice anything we should worry about. I would recommend you to check out the tone comparison section of this video in order to verify yourself, but I would say that you can choose any of the aforementioned solutions without worrying about signal degradation. In terms of latency, the best in class are the BOSS solutions and the new XMG30, followed by the HX Stomp and the Ampero 2. You should not have any problem with any of these solutions alone, even if you have to take into consideration the overall latency of your system. For instance, you may have a wireless setup which adds latency, or you may be far from the speaker adding even more latency or you may have other digital devices in the chain and each of them adds latency. Therefore, I encourage you to take into consideration the overall latency and the other latency stages you are gonna introduce with your whole rig. And now let me finish the video with my totally personal opinion and the way I would choose the best companion for the tonics. If I was on a tight budget, well, the couple with the MG30 would be great. I would add a MIDI controller, obtaining a pretty powerful rig, at a very good price, in my opinion. If I had to select the best rig just for recording or the most powerful or portable one, I would go with the GT1000 Core or the Ampero Stomp 2. I think that the Ampero 2 has already a great choice of amps and caps, whether the GT1000 core is more limited in terms of amps choice, and has, on the other hand, the possibility to build very complex signal chains with a lot of effects at our disposal. Therefore, it is a very good companion of the tonics. If I had to choose the best couple to play live, well, I would go with the GX100 plus tonics. This is a pretty powerful couple with tons of effects and you know that I love boss effects as I grew up using boss pedals. You are also gonna complete the amps included in the GX100 with a vast choice of amps included in the tonics. And you also have 8 full switches which are pretty useful when playing live. Also the HX Stomp is a good option but I have just a personal, personal preference for boss effects. Therefore, I would go with the 1000 core versus the HX Stomp if I want to stay with that form factor. Once again, these are totally personal preferences and please let me know in the comment section below which is the best couple for you and why. As usually, please check out the links in the description below if you want to help the channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye-bye.